वॉर इज अप काइज कैसे हो आप लोग इट्स अ ब्यूटिफुल संडे मॉर्निंग इन वन ऑफ दिस रिमोट विलेज ऑफ द लाहौल वैली वी आर समवेयर बिटवीन केलोंग एंड जिसपा एक्चुअली दिस इज अ विलेज कॉल्ड खांगसर विच इज सिचुएटेड बिटवीन केलोंग एंड जिसपा Uh, I think about seven, eight kilometers from Jispa, before Jispa, I should say, and above the main Le Manali Highway. So we found a place here to stay. I came here with family yesterday uh, around afternoon, checked in, and found this place to be one of the most beautiful villages that I have seen in Himachal. This kind of feels like a good balance between a modernization that has taken place and how they have preserved the culture. So it's six a.m. in the morning. and i thought of showing you guys how this place looks like in the morning hours when there is very less activity just a couple of people here and there on the road uh, 6 am as you can imagine it's almost like 2 3 degrees celsius right now uh, the sun has risen from the left from there in the back i wanted to also make you experience the sound of this village as well so let's get going on a small walk and make you see this place so this is the location Uh, let me just get on this vantage point and show you this area this place has a lot of uh, wide open fields and these guys are using it to grow a lot of vegetables obviously in lahol the major thing that is grown is a lot of potatoes and a lot of exotic vegetables like broccoli and all all things are being prepped up for that behind me you can see a field and on the other side you can also see a field so you can very well imagine this is their staple kind of job here this uh, structure is getting the fresh sunlight that is coming from behind the baralachla pass and i'm not sure if you guys can see this uh, if i go a little up i don't want to go this is someone else's home let's avoid that because this is someone else's place and the cattle and some of the dogs are also active at this point of the day so they are barking on me <laughs> that is where the sunrise is about to happen actually the sun is about to peep out it's kind of difficult to spot the sun when it starts to rise just look at the view guys one more thing that you will see as a common feature is in all these himachali villages they store a lot of big logs of wood now traditionally these logs of woods were used to construct uh, structures like you see here these are longer logs of woods also they are using these as boundaries of their farms this looks so cool huh and the background with those snow kiss peaks Meanwhile, auntie is preparing stuff. The gober ki uple from these cattle. Namaste, auntie. The sun has peeped out from behind those peaks. Not sure if you can call this a sunrise because we are in a valley and. Uh, the sunrise occurs a little later because of uh, the location of this area surrounded by peaks from all sides you have these gompa like structures here ye peene ka pani hai bhaiya acha to aise kitne bane hue hain idhar gaon mein teen char teen char bane hue hain aise okay now see this texture on the outer layer of this house this is very rugged uh, survives the different types of weather conditions that this place has to deal with i found this very interesting piece of innovation <laughs> what do i call it this is a log of wood out of which these guys have carved out a proper staircase a single piece log of wood like we go to those furniture shops in plains and ask for you know a piece of furniture a table or chair these guys say that uh, ek 
लकड़ी के पीस से बना है इट्स मेड ऑफ वन लॉग ऑफ वुड दैट्स वाई इट्स एक्सपेंसिव नाउ दिस इज अ प्राइम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ इट देव कट इट डाउन एट डिफरेंट प्लेसेज एंड दिस कैन बी यूज एज अ स्टेयर टू स्टेप अप जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू गो अप बिकॉज दिस इज समबडी एल्स इज प्लेस एंड यू सी अ डॉग देयर हु इज स्लीपिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ स्टार्ट बाकिंग एट मी बिकॉज आई एम अ स्ट्रेंजर इन दिस प्लेस एंड अनदर इनोवेटिव स्टेयर केस मेड ऑफ वर्ड प्योर वर्ड माइंड यू प्योर वर्ड इज दिस जस्ट लुक एट दिस हाउ ब्यूटिफुल दिस लुक्स एंड द शैडो दैट इट्स कास्टिंग on the wall of the small mud house or whatever it is namaste ye kya le ja rahe hain aap aunty mandir ko dhoop 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 acha mandir ki dhoop hai ye dhoop hai iska dhoop hai acha dekho bada acha ye ho kali na acha ji ho acha As you can see, the sun has now come out properly, and another of those taps being used by the villagers to fill up water, and another gompa. This is a small shop, by the way, in which we came last night to pick up some biscuits and all. So I was talking about those, you know, woods and all, storing all these logs of woods. So I'm really not sure what is the actual purpose and whether this is good for the environment or bad. But I think this is a continuation of their. traditional practices that have lasted for hundreds of years so i am not blaming them but i have to research about this right besides this gompa i was told there is something where is very peculiar do you see this structure this plank sort of a thing a solid plate of rock there is some sort of thing that is made on top of it i am not sure if you will be able to see this yeah they have carved out a design yeah are you able to make this out this is some sort of a human creature that they have carved out on the face of the rock and i was told that this sort of a thing is there in the entire lahol and spiti area even in the main spiti kaza area and even in tibet so might be a very old tradition <clears throat> not sure what this is called we continue along this village road look at how the sun is just powering through those mountains now and that's the jispa valley for you can you hear the sound of the river from here let's continue to go This is a beautiful turn. Why I term it as a beautiful turn is because of this milky white stream that you will see here. Just beautiful. Can you guys see that stream? This is such a beautiful sight. The fresh sunlight hitting these mountains and just that section of the stream is in the shadow area let's zoom in a little more and see just look at the beauty of this place i'm taking a turn back from here because i want to now go back to my hotel and wake up the family as well because i really want these guys to come along with me and experience this they are fast asleep actually uh, the kids did not get sound sleep last night because new place and all but while i'm going back i have this amazing view of the snow covered peaks 180 degree turn and here you go that's the khangsar village and those beautiful snow kissed peaks you want to zoom in isn't this beautiful the location those mountains and some of these mountains the center one this one is completely devoid of any snow and the other ones have those have that snow at the top 
in fact there is a glacier that i spotted yesterday and the white structure that you see in the middle that is where i am staying this is right in the center of the fields and this is the lahore area so all these must be the fields where they grow those potatoes lahori potato is very famous exotic vegetables like broccoli zucchini and all which we like to have with chicken mashed potatoes you know all those things <laughs> finally we see some villagers here four or five people hello hello <laughs> at this point in time i just do not feel like switching the camera off i'm not here to make a documentary which has to be cinematically the best i just want to capture this morning for myself for my records this goes on youtube and i can visit the vibe feel the vibe of this small village whenever i want to by clicking on that video that's why i am recording this this is very different from the other motorcycling related content that i post oh man there is a shar that is there blow me off oh with water yeah <laughs> so this is what i call as very lucky cattle oh my god doing its thing but they are having fresh grass green grass not like the plastic that these cattle have to you know survive on in the plains and in some time when the family wakes up i will show you this 300 year old mud house which is having four floors final view of the place that i'm staying uh, this is the shangbarpa and this hotel is located like i told you between the fields flat area and if we zoom in do you see my isuzu somewhere there so like i was saying i'll just wrap it up wake up the family and we'll have some breakfast and continue exploring this place today's agenda is nothing nothing literally nothing we just want to explore this village take small walks and just uh, enjoy the peace all around because yesterday night yesterday evening when we reached here we were having a a uh, headache were not able to acclimatize properly but now it's absolutely fine so why not make the most of good health and enjoy this place i'll see you in the next one